Hey guys, Davis here. Welcome back to Tech Chunky. In the last episode, we configured our PFSense to log in as AD user via the LWS, but it does not provide resilience because it only allows us to select only one authentication server. Um, it's too bad. There's no option to do that. Do that. Uh, so. We can configure the uh, HA on the LWS on our side. In this video, I will show you how to do it. First of all, let's add a rule so that our second PFSense can access the internet. Okay, oops. There. Firewall net outbound. Because um, in the earlier episode, we add only one rule to for the X-ray algorithm, but as you can see, only the uh, primary one, the active one, uh, have this X-ray IP address. So the secondary one uh, do not have the address, so it cannot access the internet. So click on add uh, IPv4 protocol any source. This firewall itself, destination, any address, interface address. So, firewall outgoing. Save that. Okay. Let's see if the rules in here. Yeah, it's in here. So let's log into the secondary PFSense. Shell ping. Okay. And then we have to achieve the XA function. We can um, use some uh, no balancer like X-ray proxy or some other uh, open source project like Cephnet. But uh, to make things easier and simple, uh, I will use X-ray proxy that uh, comes with the packages in the PFSense. So go to the PF. PF01, lab PF01, system um, package manager available packages. Search X-ray proxy. We want the uh, X-ray proxy, not the development one. Click on install, confirm. It would be fast. Well, it's done. Let's see on the secondary note. Package manager. Available packages. Actually, proxy. Install. Confirm. Okay, um, before we configure the X-ray proxy, let me show you something real quick. Um, that's uh, pretty much the simplified version of the uh, the concept. Um, the PFSense will send the LWS request to the load balancer, and the load balancer will um, forward the request to either one of the domain controller. Previously, we don't when we don't have the domain controller, we can only specify only one domain controller the DCO1 with the URL the DNS uh, dco one dot simple lab dot int 
but uh, we can now um, point to another address which it, which is um, the simple laptop int why we choose the simple laptop int because uh, on the LDAP S certificate on both domain controller it has the simple laptop int as the uh, subject alternative name but uh, the second challenge is that um, we are using domain controller as the DNS server uh, whenever we try to resolve the um, simple lab.int it will provide all the domain controllers address um, just like that let me show you uh, and let's look up server 10.10.8.11 uh, simple lab.int you see oh there's also one um, left over here but we can clean up later as you can see um, all the domain controllers in the dom in the domain are listed here so uh, this is not what we wanted so, um, to overcome this, uh, this this issue this this problem we have to um, set a, a static record on the pfSense to tell the pfSense hey um, when you see a record like a simple laptop int uh, it is actually point to 10.10.8.1 it's something like a host, host, host record in the host table and actually it is kind of kind of uh, the same after we uh, added the um, static record on the web geo web buoy uh, it will also spawn the uh, host table record in the host table yep okay 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 um, let's go to the services X-ray proxy settings. Let's enable the X-ray proxy. Maximum connections. Um, there's a uh, connection and memory usage table here because uh, we are kind of a lab environment. Two thousand should be enough. Proxies to start. Most of them leave as default and the internal stats port we need to give it a port number so that we can check on the status later knocking no no other thing global dns resolver for x-ray proxy don't need to do that x-ray proxy sync okay check that so the configuration should be uh, synced to the secondary node save apply so um, we have to add a backend services um, which is uh, our domain controllers let's click on the add give it a name backend because uh, we previously um, created and deleted so there will be a there's a auto complete prompt for me click on this arrow and type in the dco1.simplelab.int address uh, in this box is just a name a friendly name is not actually the the dns name is going to use it will be using this 10.10.8.11 10 10 so the port is 636 for LFS. click on this one add another one dc02 the ip is 10.10.8.12 10 636 of course
Okay, the low balancing option. I will choose source IP. Okay, that's pretty. M oh, the 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 health checking. Just basic. I'm gonna use basic because uh, it will check on the uh, TCP connection instead of the HTTP checking, of course. Advanced setting. Okay, don't want to touch that. Save. Apply. So, um, there's a backend resources here when we don't have any front end uh, connected to the backend, it's grayed out. Let's click on the front end, add front end primary out of S. Okay, let's uh, where is it? Okay external address this is the address that uh, serving the request so uh, how about 10.10.a.1 .10 .10 what they are right yep 10.10.801 10 10 the port of course uh, 636 the type is a TCP connection Okay, for the back end, um, we don't have any uh, route that I wanted to um, to use the route to route it to the uh, different back end because we have only one. So we choose the default back end here. Anything? Advanced option, no need to do that. Okay, click on save. Apply changes. So the the backend resources is not grayed out anymore. Let's check on the stack. As you can see, uh, both backend is reachable is check on the layer for the check on the TCP actually yep uh, that's it replicating the the setting to the second node yep cool is also replicating the, the setting to the second node so focus on the first node let's see the connection is up. Oh, control C and C is up. Is that V 10.10.8.1 10 636. Cool. The port is opened. Uh, the last thing we should do is adding the static record. So go back to the PF Sense. Okay, come on. Services. DNS resolver. Wait, what? Oh, okay, here. Host override. Click on add. Host. It would be nothing, and the domain is simple laptop int. The address is 10.10.8.1, which is uh, matching our uh, x-ray proxy uh, servicing IP. That's enough. Apply the changes. Let's see. It replicated here. DNS resolver. Okay, it's here. Let's see if the PFSense can resolve this IP with the static record. 
um, simple lab.int cool oops that's the second one oops Yes, it's working. So it's time to update the uh, out that server, Oop, system, user manager, authentication oh. server. Click on the pencil icon. So host name or IP address we switch to simple laptop int save that's it also reflecting the changes here user manager authentication server yep updated so let's have a test pf min That's great. Okay, um, let's use the secondary node as the testing ground. We can change the option in the primary node. Um, go to the services, um, X ray proxy. Uh, that oops, let's use this one. As you can see, um, there's some traffic already in the uh, domain controllers, but uh, let's see, we can mess it up like. Uh, we can disable one of the domain controller let's disable the oh let's disable them both apply step page so uh, matching the the color here is administrate administratively done for maintenance the brown color yep so right now it should be failed oops come on because let me use the local user to log in first local database fallback okay authentication pf admin so fail expected because all of the domain controllers are uh, uh, markets disabled by me go back to the backend ah oh, crap uh, because the user is no longer uh, the, the PFSN no longer able to contact to the uh, LDAP server uh, so where, is, where am I? ok services actually proxy backend so let's enable the DC01 save let's see okay it's up test again yep looks good and then let's disable the first one the DCO1 and enable the DCO2 save apply Stats. Okay, this old one is disabled. 
let's have a other test okay good log out let me log out this one too oops no pf admin Let me enable the domain controller in the X-ray proxy to maintain the full resilience. Apply stats. Okay, there you have it. The X-ray proxy with uh actually as so that's it see you in the next one